Good evening, board chair, board members, and superintendent Dr. Romano. My name is Lisa Braithwaite, and I serve as the principal of Suncoast Elementary School. I'm here this evening to communicate the significant facility and technology needs specific to Suncoast Elementary School. In 1994, Suncoast Elementary opened serving approximately 570 students with 58 staff members. Today, our enrollment exceeds 1,000 students with 105 staff members. Our facility is 21 years old and with age comes the constant need for repair and replacement, many of these which are safety concerns. Repairs and replacements that are necessary include security gates that are damaged and not functioning in the administrative building, also with hinges broken on outer security gates, a school alarm system that has been frequently repaired but is currently out of service, security cameras that are not fully operational, and the increase increased need for added security cameras to address specific areas that require surveillance, carpet that is dilapidated and tile worn out, a cafeteria with flooring that is in desperate need of replacing to blend with new construction from just five years ago, warped exterior doors that are hard to open and close, faucets that leak in several classrooms, a campus intercom system fixed with used parts at least 10 times, broken concrete and courtyard and uneven concrete across campus, campus door locks that constantly require new batteries, interior painting of classrooms and class classroom exterior doors across our campus, replacement of original ceiling fans, fan blades across the school, window blinds that are rotting and window screens that are ripped or no longer inside the window frames, gutters for the remaining buildings, and covered walkways from portables. Suncoast Elementary's master plan from 2008-2012 was originally proposed to have two phases. The first phase, completed in 2009, included removing portables and replacing mm -hmm. the portables with a concretable building housing permanent student stations, expanding the kitchen central to receiving area, and the dining area. Our 800 building, which houses 14 classrooms, a multi-purpose room, and an art room, is only a little over five years old, is now in need of painting and technology replacements of audio and visual enhancement, specifically replacement bulbs and data projectors. Phase two of the master plan has come and gone because money is not available to move forward to complete. Phase two originally addressed the need for the redesign of our much needed school visitor parking area for over a thousand and students. The expansion to our media center and the proposed additional courtyard with a covered patio to provide additional areas to facilitate the needs of the students eating lunch at our school. Technology is another area of concern. Our students deserve access to technology that is current and supports the 21st century demands of a digital learning environment. The dismal condition of our school's technology equipment does not even meet the demands of a school population of 1,000 students. Visit our school and you will find antiquated desktop monitors or classrooms that on any given day have only two or three working computers with speakers that are barely auditable. Technology obstacles at Suncoast Elementary include many of the things that my colleagues have already reported on. But I would like to add that our data projectors are malfunctioning and the loaners that we are given are frequently in worse shape than the ones we are sending out for repairs. Furthermore, the mandated progress monitoring testing demands have monopolized the equipment we do have, which then halts the use of the computer equipment limiting access for student use for the important things like word processing, PowerPoint presentations, and research. Technology is not going away and our school desperately needs equipment that is operational and current. It is obvious in order to meet all the demands of the facility and technology needs specific to Suncoast Elementary that $355,000 additional dollars per year for the next 10 years would most certainly begin to address these needs. I would be remiss if I did not commend the district and school maintenance department and technology department for their efforts in maintaining our facility and our limited resources for the facility of our size. Thank you for this opportunity to publicly address our school needs and if you need facts figures or pictures I would be happy to provide them to you thank you